when we had the building over on the, uh, on the site that's now the seventh grade center, and uh, that was the only gym we had in the entire district. So we had to play all the games there and everything had to take place there. And then we had an old shop building out there that was, it was really bad shape. And this is what we used for our alternative school. And I uh, called it you know, little, little Alcatraz because it was so bad. So when I came to Union, the very first initiative that we had was to develop an alternative school. I knew that we had students who were uh, not graduating from high school and there wasn't a one of them that was disposable. So we had to save them in a variety of ways. So the alternative program was the very first thing that we developed. And of course that led to the development of a new building, but that's after we had housed the program at the intermediate high school for uh, its initial time. And um, we began to see amazing results because students wanted to be in an environment that would support them with loving teachers, small class sizes, and an individualized approach that would take into consideration some of the challenges that they'd already had in school or that they were going through in their personal lives. Um, and so for us to mesh a program to their needs was a good first step to see how we could influence uh, our graduation rate and of course, uh, you know, that led somewhere down the road. We continued that kind of approach as we uh, adopted the community schools model. The reputation of Union as a place of excellence is something that we've always worked very hard to maintain. And so everything that we would try to do would be to make sure that every student, regardless of the opportunities that they brought or that the challenges that they brought, were met with the same kind of excellence and high expectations that we'd always been known for. That was our that was our, our motto always, to do it the Union way, not to look to the past, but always to look at how are we going to excel, um, actualize things for our students and put it in the perspective of they have every opportunity, every access to the very best kind of learning environment that we could possibly provide for them.